Hey, I'm Scott. But I was going to go first. No, I went first. Okay, I'm Chris from the Flatliners, and you're watching Ambi. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with the Flatliners. Yo! <laughs> I like how you know what I was going to say there. I was trying to, yeah. yeah. Trying to totally in sync. <laughs> <laughs> if we're, hey, listen, if we're going to start off by talking about in sync, can I just say, good for Justin Timberlake. For what? <laughs> Escaping the terrible, cruel world of boy bandom. That's true. He's, he's he made great. it out. He made it out. He's great. Okay, he's come a talented down. guy. He's really good. Calm down. What? Really. Yeah. Really good. Any other boy band thoughts before we get on to you That's guys? It. Who's your matters. second favorite? <laughs> JT is the best. There is no second to JT. What? There's, no, there's like five of them. Oh, oh nice pass. He seemed like a quiet, okay. sweet one. Yeah. He yeah. wanted to go to space. <laughs> yeah. 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 Did he go to space? I don't think he ever went. No. Okay. no. Anyway, sorry. No, no, don't Let's apologize. Do it. It's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exciting time for you guys because Nerves is officially out. Yes. New yeah. two track EP. Yeah. It's been yeah. a few years since the release of been. your last album. So. And then we just put out two songs. Yeah, yeah. So lazy. It's so lazy, but we did it. We're trying to see how much we can get away with. You yeah. know what I mean? Really? Before people call us out on being lazy and, you know, yeah, un already, underworked. Yeah. I already threw it out there, man. We're I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't going to bring that up, but since you've already dug that hole, no, I'm kidding. No, no, lazy. <laughs> Does it feel pretty good, though, to have finally unleashed stuff since it has been a while? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's nice uh, uh, playing some new songs and yeah. live. It's it, nice. And we didn't really mean for it to take that long. We just no. kind of forgot We're just to lazy. put some new stuff out. That's <laughs> all. Yeah. Life gets in the way. You know? Yeah. It totally gets in the way. We are really busy doing nothing. Yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah, actually. pretty yeah. much. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, it feels it feels excellent. I think we're going to play a new song tonight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which one? That's a surprise. Some, yeah, oh, you're going to keep me waiting, what, a couple, couple hours? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to talk about Hang My Head because I just love the whole idea of talking about the digital age. Was there a specific moment or event that happened where you're like, I have to write about this? Or is it more so how everyone's addicted? It's more about like the human interaction that like it is like left in its wake now. You know what I mean? Like I have a lot of friends and like I'm one of them who like really like digs like things like Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that. I like Twitter because you can, I follow a lot of comedians on Twitter, into that a lot. Like whatever, Instagram's great photography. It's always been something I've been really into, but it's really like left that human interaction kind of behind, yeah. you know? So it's just like, it just realized how it's like altered, <laughs> altered like the world we live in really. And it wasn't, it wasn't one specific thing. It was just like kind of like- It's pretty hard it. not to notice it. You know, it's very, sure. it's and very it's, prevalent. And it's hard not to like become a part of it. You know what I mean? Like again, like I'm, I'm a person who enjoys it, but I just, you see how things change and people don't really talk much in person anymore. So everyone's just always, you know, anymore. heads and down, like, texting. Like I know people who like don't like talking on the phone. They're just like, just text me. And then yeah. they're like, I'm gonna call you. We'll see what happens <laughs> see if you ignore me or have <laughs> the most awkward conversation ever. Yeah, but like, you know, it's not, it's not all bad, but it's just, it's just like, I'm fascinated by that thing. Cause it's supposed to be there to like make the world a better place. And like, you hear all these like tech startups say that kind of thing about like their, what, what they're contributing to, uh, to like the world. And uh, in the end, I think it's probably like, probably helping more situations than, than causing problems but it's also like I think there's like a direct link between like the prevalence of that level of like technological uh, encounters and like the spike in like social anxiety and stuff you know so not to get dark you know <laughs> but I just it's, it's how I you asked so I yeah feel, so. <laughs> I asked you answer I appreciate the and honest like, answer here's the thing I usually write songs about it because I'm not great at talking about it okay <laughs> <laughs> What are your you're thoughts? okay at writing songs Thanks, better than you're okay. You're okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts on phones at shows? Does that get on your nerves? Um, it bums me out when I'm like behind someone, especially at a show where it's like some big ticket show and they're like filming everything. You're like, you're never gonna fucking watch that ever. <laughs> you're never gonna watch that. Yeah. You're gonna like, be like tripping out like two weeks later, like my phone's out of space. And you're gonna be like the only the only time you're gonna look at that video. It's the two hour is, video. Like, like, oh, that's that like ten minute long video of like. <sighs> Let's keep it. I gotta keep. I can't. I'm not. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> not know? letting go. Yeah. Link it to your iCloud. And delete it. Don't be an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like as far as like the, like the flashlight on a phone has replaced the lighter at shows. I don't know. That's just the world we live in. Yeah. yeah. It looks pretty cool. It does yeah, look it cool. can. It can. Yeah. yeah. Unless the motherfucker's got his like strobe light thing on. His <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? <laughs> I've seen that a couple times. Oh my. I, think, I, I truthfully don't think that those people realize that they have it on that setting. They're just like, oh, wow. <laughs> so mellow. <laughs> What are some other things that get on your nerves? Do you have any pet peeves? That's a question for you, buddy. I have too many, to be honest. <laughs> How much time you got? I don't want to run out of film here. Please, go ahead. Take it away. Um, no, you 
know what? Let's not be negative today. Nice. Um, let's just say things that I like about people. Nice. Um, mm. I you're, can't really think of anything. Like you can't really think of anything. Say. Yeah, I'm pretty neutral, <laughs> to be honest, I guess. Yeah. Um, what gets on your nerves, man? Buddy, what doesn't? <laughs> Any fucking songs that I've written, bud? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I mean, uh, as far as, like, touring stuff goes, I had the realization a few years ago that, like, I don't, like, I would love it if there, if you could travel with your own toilet on yeah. tour. Okay. Because, like, using, like, public toilets every day of your life yeah. on tour, it gets pretty old pretty so fast. grind your gears? Grinds my fucking gear. Can I swear in this? Go ahead. Nice. I've been yes. already letting them fly. Um, <laughs> yeah, that grinds my gears. Uh, you'll see him around today. He plays guitar in the band. He's, like, this tall. He's got like, a beard and a brown Brixton hat and, like, a black visor on the hat. He's wearing, like, a blue sweater and, like, blue jeans and black shoes. Pretty good that description. Guy gets, that guy gets on my nerves. Okay. Seriously, I haven't seen him. Fuck that guy. Though. Yeah, I haven't seen him around <laughs> in a while. Yeah. Well, another exciting thing for the band is that in the new year you're going to be releasing a new. It's supposed to get like really groovy and yeah, hear wow. the music coming on. Yeah, Mr. with us right here. <laughs> you're going to be releasing a new record. Just yeah. congrats on the signings to Dine Alone and Rise. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Are you excited for it to be in a way a fresh start? Yeah, I mean, like everyone at Fat, uh, we've we've been there for like ten years, and everyone has been so great. Uh, we just, I mean, after that amount of time, we just wanted to really try something new. And I mean, it was uh, they've like we grew up on a lot of bands on that label. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was, you know, it's it's an interesting thing to like ha- be at that point where you're like, you know what? Oh shit! There we go. Uh, you know, like we're gonna try something new. But I mean, they're such lovely people. We got their blessing, obviously. And I think I think it's yeah, gonna I think be exciting to look for how long now? Like, almost ten years. Almost yeah, ten yeah, years. Yeah. Uh, about ten years. Yeah. We did four records, five records with the four. Five, technically. Like five records with them. It's been, it's been a long, <laughs> good run with those guys for sure. He's ready to get down. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's it's gonna be exciting to uh, to like work with some new folks who are doing some cool stuff. And yeah, I think it's just, I mean, we're, we're all the band's been around for like almost 15 years now, and it just feels like a good time to try something else. Yeah, see how it goes. Well, just speaking to doing something new, you've said how for each record you want to do something new. So do you happen to know what that is for this upcoming album? That's a, that's a surprise, I think. It's a surprise. You have to wait. And you see. and your surprises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't like to get too much out. We, I don't know, I think I, I think to a lot of fans it'll make sense, you know, like I think we've done a pretty good job, record to record, of slightly alienating our fan base a tiny little bit. <laughs> sorry. So, sorry. So, no, I think we're super fired up about it, and we've... We're still big, the same four guys, though, you yeah. know, it's still flatliners. Yeah. And we yep. took a, a while... It was the first time ever we like talked a lot about what we wanted to do rather than just like writing songs. Okay. Like we all we all had ideas, but we really like we never spent so much time talking about a record that, as this one. Um, I don't know why that is. I think it was just the point where all that we just really wanted to try a bunch of new stuff. But I think it's still gonna be the same band. Yeah. Just yeah, with uh, some new songs. Hopefully yeah. you guys like it. And if you don't. <laughs> A lot of other bands out there, guys. <laughs> a lot of fucking other bands out there. The cool thing is that it seems like over the years our fan base has like grown with us, which is really cool. It makes yeah. us very happy, so we're hoping that continues this time. Yeah. I came across something where you were describing yourselves as Canadian geeks. So what would you say about your fellow band member, one of the geekiest things? I thought you said Canadian Ooh. geese. Uh, no. <laughs> well, you're a bird for sure. Yeah, I guess I'd be the geekiest yeah. thing about yeah. me. I'm a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you're a bird. And the geekiest thing about me is an insult for me. Yeah, you're yeah. a bird. You just call me a bird. That's pretty fucking geeky, dude. The geekiest thing about bandmates. Oh, my God. I Paul's a bit of a keener. <laughs> um, John. And I guess it's not geeky that you're into kung fu or... No, that's but pretty, he kind of makes, makes it a little geeky, though. It definitely makes him a badass. Yeah. Sure. Um, you have glasses. That's. Yeah, that's, but I never wear them. That's technically pretty geeky, buddy. My eyes buddy. Are going crazy Four right eyes. Now. So crazy right now. I can't see. I can't think all. of a single thing that's geeky about me, though. Me neither, man. You're perfect. Honest. He's perfect. <laughs> I think a lot of things that make me really cool, but for uh-huh. sure, no, no yeah. geeky things. No, I guess. He's super cool. Let's <laughs> drop. But what was that going on? That's going kind of back to the bird thing, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Fuck, she just called me a bird. (laughs) Yes, it's really. I mean, you're kind of doing the head motion. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Just to wrap things up, I want to end it on the fans. Anything you want to leave with all of them who will be viewing? Yeah, it's me. Um, That's probably too much. I I, I think I've already said it, but it it does make us so happy to, like, especially, like, being in Toronto, wrapping the the year up in Toronto at a a lovely venue, the Danforth Musical, we've never played before. Awesome. Uh, 
buds. Great, great plays, great buds. Protest the Hero, I haven't played a show with them in like 10 years almost. A Wilhelm Scream, great buddies of ours. Shout out to Sparrows, shout out to every band playing. Um, I think it's really cool though, looking back on all those years that like, like I said earlier, like our fans have like come with us. It's cool. Uh, I mean, we started when we were 14 years old and we were playing shows to probably a bunch of 14, 15, 16 year old kids. And now we're, you know, like almost 30 and like our fans are almost 32 and it's just cool. There's this like, this sense of like, we're having like peers with our fans. You yeah. know what I mean? And just like, it's, you've it's all been, been along for the ride. It's been really it's cool. Awesome. Yeah. It's been really cool to look out in the crowd and see those familiar faces in Toronto at least and elsewhere as well. But if we're just on the topic of Toronto and for all those years, it feels good. We're so good. thank you very much. <laughs> Stay warm. Nice. Ooh, nice plug. I like nice. that. That's why he's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank me you. today. Thanks for having us. It's yeah. my pleasure. And remember, nice to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.